So first of all, we'll write here a procedure to solve these type of problems. The step number one, whatever the inclined forces are there, you first try to resolve the forces along the x-axis and y-axis using the component cos theta and sin theta. The second step is that suppose we have a UDL and UVL and couple. So you try to convert all these type of load into the point load using the concept of area of the given figure and the corresponding centroid. So convert UDL and UVL into the equivalent point load. If in your figure, if you have any offset load, that is a eccentric load, then shift that load on the main beam using the moment concept. So transfer offset load on the main beam. Once you have finished this, then your entire load will be on the beam. Then the step number four is always take the moment about the fixed support because the fixed support has two reactions. So out of three reactions, two reactions are passing to the fixed support. So we can very easily find out the reaction at roller support. Then we have one more equation that is sigma fi equal to zero. Using this equation, you can find out the answers. And if the answer is positive, then assumption is correct. And if any answer is negative, then you have to reverse the direction of that particular value. So before we solve the numericals, let we have first revisit our sign convention for forces and the couple. Normally we use the sign convention as the same as the standard coordinate system. That is the rightward force will take as positive and the upward force will take as positive. Whereas the leftward force and the downward force will take as negative quantity. And as far as the moment is considered, if the moment is taking place clockwise, then we'll consider that moment is equals to positive value. And if the direction of moment is the anti-clockwise, we'll take as a negative sign. So let's practice some question here. So this figure is given to you. In this one, we have given all types of loads are point load. Out of that, the 600 Newton is the inclined load and other two are vertical load. So first of all, you have to resolve the 600 Newton load into X component and a Y component. We have a fixed support at A and a roller support at B. Normally use the projection. We have to show two reactions at the fixed support, namely AX and AY. And for roller, we have a roller horizontal here. So reaction is vertical at point B. So this reaction will be called as BY because it is in Y direction. This reaction is AY in Y direction. And this is AX along X direction. Then first of all, you shift the force 200, which is vertical force at a point B. So this one is 200 Newton. Now 600 Newton is making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal component. So we have horizontal component will be equals to 600 cos 45. And the vertical component will be the 600 sin 45. Once you have finished this, we have one force to be shown here. So we'll take one moment about the fixed support about A that equal to zero. And our sign convention is positive. I have to show here one force at point, uh, we'll say C, 100 Newton downward. So let's take the moment. AX and AY will pass to the point A. So these two components will not make any moment. Even 600 cos 45 will pass to the point A, will not make any moment. 600 sin 45 will make a clockwise moment about point A. So clockwise means positive. Your force value is 600 sin 45 and the perpendicular distance between this point and A is equal to 2 meter. So this force we have to show extra actually 100 Newton. So this force will also try to rotate about the point A in a clockwise sense. So because of clockwise you have to select positive sign. Your force value is 100 and the perpendicular distance between this point and A is 2 plus 3 that equal to 5. So this total distance is 5. Then we have one force is 200 Newton. So this 200 Newton about point A will make a clockwise moment. So because of clockwise you have to write down positive sign force is 200 and the perpendicular distance is from point A to B is 2 plus 3 plus 3 that equal to 7. And then we are left with BY. This BY about point A will make anti-clockwise moment. Therefore, we have to write down minus sign. Clockwise is positive. So anti-clockwise, you have to make it negative. It is BY and the perpendicular distance is same as 7. So we can solve this equation to obtain BY. So we get BY is equal to 392.6. Next, you have to calculate sigma fx equal to 0. So according to this, AX is positive and 600 cos 45 is positive. So we have AX equals to minus 0.26 Newton. Since the answer is negative, so you have to show this force leftward. All quantity you have to must write down positive vector quantity. Negative means that you have to follow the opposite direction that we are used. 
so it is 424.26 newton but this force will act leftward leftward is negative for x axis then you can apply the summation of fy vertically upward positive equal to 0 so we have ay then we have 600 sin 45 and 100 and 200 so this total sum must equal to 0 out of this ay is acting upward so positive value 600 sin 45 is acting downward so negative value minus 600 sin 45 100 is also acting downward so it's a negative sign and 200 is also acting downward so it is negative sign and by is acting upward so positive sign and we can put for by 392.6 so we will get ay is equal to 331.62 and since the answer is positive we have to show vertically upward sign so we have two reactions at ax and ay so therefore you have to show the resultant at reaction at point a remember your ax value come out to be leftward so we are showing it on the left side and we will cross check this answer so 100 the ax will be equals to 424.26 ay come out to be 331.62 by come out to be 392.6 so using calci you can calculate all this value you can check out the summation of sigma fx and sigma fy and confirm that this answer is zero now to show the resultant force at a we have ax is acting leftward so you have to show leftward arrow of 424.26 magnitude at the tip of this one you construct your ay which is vertically upward so from this point show ay vertically upward this magnitude is 331.62 just follow the arrow your figure will be automatically completed ay is 331.62 and finally join the start point with the end point that will give you the resultant reaction at point a is represented as ra and is called as resultant reaction at point a to find out this reaction we have to apply the pythagoras theorem that is ra equals to under root of 331.62 square plus 424.26 square so if you solve it you will get 538.28 538.28 newton and if you are interested in angle we can also calculate angle also so angle made by resultant with the horizontal is theta so we have tan theta equal to opposite value which is 331.62 by adjacent is 424 so if you solve for theta you will get theta equal to 